Hello everyone, my name is Mike Fegis and I am the host school coordinator for the Lake Erie Regional Tournament. Our school, Hudson Middle School, sponsored the event which took place on March 5th, 2022. I've been a middle school teacher at Hudson Middle School for 27 years, and this is my 21st year coaching Power of the Pen. And I think we have been a tournament sponsor for over 10 years now. And every year when I consider the prospect of hosting a tournament, it's a lot of work, but it's funny because I never hesitate. I absolutely want to do it. And the reason for that is creative writing is more important now than it's ever been. And I think that as we've gone through this pandemic, all of us have realized the importance of writing in one way or another. For most of us, if we were trying to escape, we would binge a television show or maybe watch several movies in a row or just sit down and curl up with a good book. And I think it was creative writing to a large degree that got people like us through the darkest times of the pandemic. So creative writing is more important now than it's ever been. And one of the exciting things about being a coach for me is to help usher in the new era of creative writers. I hope you are always as enthusiastic about creative writing as you are today and I hope to see your name on a book someday in the future. This is today's agenda, and because we have so much to cover, I'm not going to read all of that to you, so you can hit pause if you need to, and you can find out where we are headed. A couple of thank yous first. Power of the Pen is a nonprofit organization that depends on generous donors and sponsors in order to bring tournaments and supporting materials to schools throughout Ohio. The Hudson Kiwanis Foundation and the Hudson PTO have sponsored this year's regional tournament. We thank them for making the tournament possible. And the Kiwanis Foundation and PTO have been our sponsors since I started hosting tournaments, and the amount of dedication that they have to our program is absolutely unmatched. We, we could not do it without them. Additional support for the 2021-2022 academic year has been provided by Ohio Humanities, the National Endowment for the Humanities, and the Federal American Rescue Plan Act of 2021. A thank you goes out to a lot of people at this moment. We'd like to thank the coaches and the judges who made the tournament possible. Under your guidance, these young writers have blossomed throughout the season. It's always fun for students to look back at their writing from the beginning of the school year and see just how much they've grown as writers. Judges, thank you for the time and effort you have invested. Students appreciate your thoughtful comments and advice. Writers, we are proud of you for qualifying for the regional tournament. You are among the best and most dedicated writers in the state. Through your writing, you are connecting with readers and helping them to know that they are not alone with life's challenges and celebrations. You've helped them see situations from new perspectives, taken them on thrilling adventures, or made them laugh. Everyone who reads your writing is changed in some way by what you have to say. Friends and family, thank you for joining this awards ceremony today and for supporting our young writers. Before we begin the awards, here is a quick overview of how online regional tournaments work. The online regional tournament features three 40-minute rounds. In each round, students write a piece based on a prompt that is made available to them when they begin the round. With virtual tournaments, student writing is emailed to judges, who read and score each piece with rank points from 1 to 6, with 1 being the best, as well as quality points from 100 to 75. Here is a list of this year's participating schools. Andrews Osborne Academy, Ballard Brady Middle School, Beechwood Middle School, Berkshire Junior Senior High School, Chagrin Falls Middle School, Chardon Middle School, Communion of Saints School, Conneaut Middle School, Cornerstone Christian Academy, Fairport Harding High School, Gross Schechter Day School, Heritage Middle School, Hudson Middle School, Kenston Middle School, Kirtland Middle School, Mandel Jewish Day School, Mayfield Middle School, Memorial Middle School, Notre Dame Elementary School, Perry Middle School, Ratner Montessori School, Revere Middle School, Ruffing Montessori School, Shaker Heights Middle School, Shore Middle School, Solon Middle School, St. Anselm School, St. Joan of Arc, St. John School, University School, West Jaga Middle School, 
Wyndham Junior High School. And now we have the seventh grade individual awards. 32 schools participated in the Hudson Tournament with 79 students writing in the 7th grade and 71 students writing in the 8th grade. The top 12 writers in each grade level are honored with awards. The writers in 4th through 12th place will receive a medallion. The 3rd place winner at each grade level will receive a bronze medal, the 2nd place winner a silver medal, and the 1st place winner a gold medal. Here are the 7th grade winners. In 12th place, Anders Beckham from Shaker Heights Middle School. In 11th place, Karen Hill from Kirtland Middle School. In 10th place, Kira L. Hayek from Kenston Middle School. In 9th place, Zui Tran from Hudson Middle School. In 8th place, Ellie Spencer from Kirtland Middle School. In 7th place, Rin Lam from Revere Middle School. In sixth place, Eliana Fieldman from Mandel Jewish Day School. In fifth place, Jerry Dew from Hudson Middle School. In fourth place, Anya Ustin from Ruffing Montessori School. And now we move on to the top three writers in the seventh grade. And the top three writers this year all received a perfect rank score of 300, which means that they each received a first place ranking in all three rounds. In third place, our bronze medal winner from Revere Middle School is Clara Ravshirt. In second place from Solon Middle School, Manasvi Gurajala. And our gold medal winner, in first place from Communion of Saints School, Sophie Otero. Congratulations to all of our seventh grade winners. Now we move on to the eighth grade individual awards. In 12th place from University School, Fishan Patel. In 11th place from Mandel Jewish Day School, Emily Kurland. In 10th place from Chagrin Falls Middle School, Kirsten Cheney. In ninth place, from Mandel Jewish Day School, Kenzie Ryan. In eighth place, from Ballard Brady Middle School, Vivian Chi. In seventh place, from Hudson Middle School, Elizabeth Thompson. In sixth place, from Cornerstone Christian Academy, Julianne Shanks. In fifth place, from Mayfield Middle School, Elizabeth Ballas. In fourth place, from Ballard Brady Middle School, Sophie Lang. And now we are up to our top three finalists. Remember, they will receive a bronze, silver, and gold medal respectively. Here we go. In third place, our bronze medalist from Mayfield Middle School is Purva Punyam. In second place, from Ballard Brady Middle School, Anshul Sharma. And our first place winner this year from Shaker Heights Middle School, Isabel Siegel. Congratulations to all of our eighth grade medalists and finalists. Now it is time to move on to the best of round award. The number one stories from each round were reviewed by a committee to select the highest quality individual writing in each round to receive the best of round awards. Best of round winners also qualify for the state tournament. The seventh grade best of round winners are Too Late to Forget by Clara Rauschert, coached by Connie Tartera of Revere Middle School. What Can I Use to Write by Jerry Dew, coached by Mike Fegis from Hudson Middle School. The Place for Spies by Clara Rauschert, coached by Connie Tartera of Revere Middle School. And that's it for our seventh grade best of round winners. Now we move on to the eighth grade best of round winners. What More Could He Want by Isabel Siegel, coached by Erica Pfeiffer from Shaker Heights Middle School. Empty Nest by Aisha Faruqi, coached by Chelsea Apicello, Memorial Middle School. Touch the Stars by Isabel Siegel, coach Erica Pfeiffer from Shaker Heights Middle School. Now we move on to the Director's Choice Awards. Director's Choice Awards are given to writing that deserves special recognition. These writers also qualify for state. 
the first piece in eighth grade round two, Dresses by Isabel Siegel, coached by Erica Pfeiffer from Shaker Heights Middle School. Eighth grade round three, I'm Possible by Aisha Faruqi, coached by Chelsea Apicello, Memorial Middle School. Now we move on to the Platinum Pen Awards. All of the best of round writing from the district tournaments across the state was read again by a committee to choose the winners of one of Power the Pen's highest honors, the Platinum Pen Award. Platinum Pen Award winners represent the best of student writing from the district tournaments and are eligible for publication in the Book of Winners. These students' writing will serve as a model for young writers throughout Ohio. Platinum Pen Award winners qualify for the state tournament as long as they have participated in the regional tournament. Each Platinum Pen Award honoree will receive a certificate and instructions on how to submit their photo for the Book of Winners. The link for submitting photos is located on the Power of the Pen homepage. Please join me in congratulating the Platinum Pen winners from the Lake Erie College and University School District Tournaments. Peyton Winters of Perry Middle School for a piece titled, It Wasn't Me. Ishan Bott from Ballard Brady Middle School for a piece titled, Double Trouble. Marie Kane from Chagrin Falls Middle School for a piece called, The Science Not Fair. Aisha Faruqi from Memorial Middle School for a piece called, It's About Her. Isabel Siegel from Shaker Heights Middle School for her piece, The Monster Under the Bed. Adonis Wozni of University School, Failures of the Past. Now, on to the information about our state tournament. At least the top 20% of writers in the regional will qualify for the state tournament, which will be held Thursday and Friday, May 12th and 13th at Otterbein University in Westerville. Located just outside of Columbus, Otterbein's beautiful campus is a wonderful setting for a fun and engaging state tournament. Power of the Pen alum Jasmine Warga is the guest author. Jasmine was a member of Wyoming Middle School's team. Today, she is the author of four young adult and middle grade novels, including the Newbery Honor book, Other Words for Home. Students can talk one-on-one -on -one with Jasmine at book signings on Thursday and Friday. She will also lead a panel discussion on stage with several current Power of the Penn State qualifiers on Friday afternoon. Start practicing your writing with black ballpoint ink pens because a return to in-person tournaments means a return to writing by hand. The first three rounds at the state tournament are 35 minutes long. The fourth round after lunch for those who qualify is 30 minutes. We've planned fun activities for Thursday and Friday, including a dance. We can't wait to see you again. Now it is on to the team awards. Overall awards are given to schools for first, second, and third place. Each team will receive a plaque to display in their school. In third place, Shaker Heights Middle School, coached by Sarah Lambert. In second place, Revere Middle School, coached by Connie Tartara. And in first place for seventh grade, Hudson Middle School, coached by me, Mike Feges. Congratulations to our first, second, and third place teams in seventh grade. Now we move on to the eighth grade team awards. In third place, Ballard Brady Middle School, coached by Sarah DiBenedetto. In second place, Hudson Middle School, coached again by your host, Mike Feaches. <laughs> and finally, our first place team in eighth grade this year, Mayfield Middle School, coached by Shannon Saunders. Congratulations to the top three eighth grade teams. Before we move on to our final awards for the day, the Sweepstakes Awards, there are a few announcements. First, awards will be delivered. Next, schools will be notified by email of their individual results, including state qualifiers, and we will email student writing and ballots. Coaches, please carefully review your individual school's results to see which students have qualified for state. Details regarding the state tournament will be sent separately as soon as they are finalized, with state registration planned to open on March 28th. Start writing now for the poetry contest since entries will be due April 11th. Check out our social media for news about Power of the Pen. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Finally, we would love to hear from coaches, students, and parents about the impact Power of the Pen has had on their lives. We would also love for you to send us photos of students as they are writing, whether in their homes, at the school, or in a video meeting. 
Use the testimonial form in the right-hand column of the homepage of powerofthepen.org to submit videos. And now for the Regional Sweepstakes Award. For this honor, 7th and 8th grade teams points are compiled from the district and regional events to determine the regional champion. The sweepstakes trophy is awarded to the winning team to display at their school until next year's regional tournament. The Lake Erie Region trophy from 2021 is currently held by Solon Middle School. Before announcing the winner, let's celebrate the top teams. In fourth place, Mayfield Middle School, coached by Shannon Saunders. In third place, Shaker Heights Middle School, coached by Sarah Lambert and Erica Pfeiffer. In second place, Hudson Middle School, coached by your intrepid host, Mike Fegis. And now, the 2022 Lake Erie Region Sweepstakes Champion who will keep the trophy for one year, Ballard Brady Middle School, coached by Jenna Draz and Sarah Benedetto. Congratulations to these winning teams and all of the tournament's young writers. We look forward to seeing many of you at the state tournament in May. In the meantime, keep sharing your stories.